Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Hammer and I'm going to be making a guide on how to play Hammer. You know that because you clicked on the video. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to be talking about five decks Hammer here and I'm going to be making sure that all these combos are applicable to every character which has five decks and I might be mentioning combos which have higher decks but I won't be showing them. Anyway, let's get right into it. D Light Side Light is going to be your early option as long as you're a character that doesn't have a true combo SIG off D Light. Because this does lots of damage, does about around 30 damage depending on the defense to offense ratio. And on top of this, it sets them up for more follow ups. As you can see, after D Light Side Lighting them, there's a lot of different things I can do after which may not be true. You can also do D Light there if you land the. Uh, D light too close as you can see it doesn't connect if it's really close but D light dare will uh, I recommend reversing the dare to make this more consistent as as you can see here with a reverse dare you can uh, land it from a lot further away I can land it from there with a the reverse dare and if I do it the same location I can't do it with a normal dare so D light dare and D light side light if you have high decks you can go for D light side light neutral light as a true combo, but you have to land the right part of neutral light. I do, however, recommend going for this combo, even if you don't land the right part of side light or have the decks, as the chance you're going to get punished extremely heavily for it is low, but the reward is quite good, netting you more damage. Now I'm going to be talking about hammer's kill options specifically d light sir and the russian mafia so d light sir is very uh easy to do once you learn it but is difficult to do without learning it this does kill quite early but depending on what stage can take a while as you can see on shipwreck it takes 160 if i do a d light there i might be able to kill slightly yeah but this map is big and isn't tournament legal, just so you know. I just use it because it has the biggest, fattest surface to show you. Do you like Dare is a very inconsistent kill move, which can work as you can see. But you have to land the D light perfectly stacked and you have to delay the D uh no, you have to delay the down air slightly. As you can see. I don't recommend going for either of them though. I recommend we're going for the Russian Mafia when you can. As you can see, that was a true combo and killed. And it can actually kill earlier as well. This is a, a hard input. I'm going to show you how to do it. At earlier percentage, it has a dodge frame. But I recommend going in for it because they can't punish you anyway. Now, I'll show you how to do it. But if I go all the way back to the start, first you land your stomp at any range, this is. Then, as you can see, I jump and instantly do a horizontal chase dodge. This is what most people get wrong. I jump and do a horizontal chase dodge. I don't do a diagonal one or a dash jump. And then I instantly do a recovery. This recovery catches the enemy in a true combo. And then I do a reverse dare to finish them off. And the reason that this kills so early is first of all, you get all the damage from the recovery included in the dare's killing blow. And as you can see, I'm very, very high when I land it. And obviously killing off the top, the higher you are, the better it is. But back to early percent things you can do. If you land an end light, these are going to be strings. If you land an end light, you can do dash side light with a dodge window of two. And if you have higher decks, you can get the dodge window to one, as you can see. With five decks, the dodge window can be one. I'm pretty sure this can't be true. Well, apparently it can be true if you land the last kick of, uh, if you land the second kick of neutralite. I think if you land both kicks, this can't be true. This means that the move can also swing into downlight. So, end light into side light into down light is a good string that you can use to rack up a lot of damage. As you can see, Hammer has a lot of these moves which can rack up a lot of damage really quickly. 
But the hitboxing on the ground attacks, at least, is pretty small. But the weapon is overall quite fast on the ground. Now we're going to get into some more niche things you can do. Uh, Nair recovery is a combo that you can do if you land the Nair grounded. And you require tie decks to combo it, but you can get it to one dodge rim or five deck. As you can see, this is relatively easy. But one thing to note is I am reversing the recovery. Although you don't have to, it makes it a lot easier. Especially if you're moving. If you're, if you're moving, then trying to keep the recovery the same direction is important. But when you're still recovering, no, reversing it is important. So, as you can see, when I do a dash jump, landing that is going to be way harder because I can't reverse it. If I land it when I'm not moving that much, I can, in fact, land the recovery. It's harder at lower percentages, and if I turn the bot a bit higher, I'm pretty sure you can get it to be a true combo. Or at least low door dreams. Maybe not this high. Anyway, D-Light Nair is a true combo again. You just have to land a GC D-Light, so GC D-Light Nair. And I recommend going for this, uh, as it puts them in a better position than a D-Light Sarewood, and it also does more damage than a D-Light Sarewood. After landing a downlight on a grav cancel, there's not always a guaranteed chance you can get a Sair, because the jump Sair might reach over. But if you can do the Nair, the Nair does a lot of damage as well. Now I used to do a lot more damage, so I would always recommend going this, going for this. But now I recommend only going for this when you know you can't land a sir. Again, if I turn the bot to really high percentages, you can, in theory, kill with it. But again, I don't recommend it because there are better options that you can kill with. Especially for GCD light because it makes the Russian Mafia a lot easier. And you can rush Mafia with a Nair in this case. At very at middle percentages, you can do D light into side light. But it's a bit weird because they hit the floor straight away. Meaning that you can do a second D light. Normally they bounce off the floor at higher percentages. But at this percent. If you note that they are yellow, you can go for a second D-Light. So, this is a good thing to know when you want to rack up damage if you're losing the game, as you can get a little four-piece in there with a minimal dodge window, and Stomp is extremely hard to punish. D-Light is very hard to punish because of how quick it is. I also recommend your graph cancel option B, D-Light. Or if you want to mix it up and you think they're going to panic jump, make it a side light because it will cover a lot of the airspace. But D light hits, we hit the ground, and there's lots of things you can do off it, which makes it a very uh, strong grav cancelling option. I think the main things you need to learn when playing Hammer are making sure D light set, it, you can do true every single time. I bet if I did it 10 times in a row, I could probably make it true probably 10 or at least 9 times and making sure your true combos are intact Hammer's neutral game uh, is pretty strong it has a lot of mix ups and a lot of good approach tools and you can put a lot of pressure on people with this weapon because you have so many quick rounded tools it means that you can put a lot of pressure on someone even while not having your dodge because if they try and attack you then you could quickly slide in and do a D-Light quicker than they can react or you can dash into an end light to interrupt their attack but this also suffers from having low range on the ground the only move having a decent disjoint being side light and even then the disjoint's not that good so you can make up to this by practicing your dash jump fast falls as you can see i can do a grounded nair here which gives me a giant anti-air hitbox which also hits grounded one of the best moves in the game and if I do it with Sir, I can also have a disjoint in front of me, which is extremely large. So, I recommend learning these two things, as they will really help your hammer gameplay, and really mean you can approach people on the ground who have longer range weapons. 
I also think that down light is an amazing approach tool as you can X pivot this. The way you do that is you hold it down and do a dash jump like so, and then light attack in the opposite direction and you'll do an X pivot. And as you can see, if I'm attacking this tutorial and I miss, this is where the attack will put me. But if I do an X pivot, it'll put, it will give me more distance between them. You can also mix up because the X pivot won't hit sometimes when the actual attack will. But the overall presence that this has, having pretty decent hitboxing and being decently safe, makes it a very good move to try and uh, keep people out with and keep your space. One thing Hammer excels at is juggling. It has Nair, which is one of the best anti in the game. And if they get below you, you can down there them and then Nair them again. Juggling is really important in this game. As if someone can't touch the ground and can't get their options back, you can pretty much kill them. And as you can see, on Hammer, I always up chase dodge after a dare. Uh, even no matter where I land it. Because I think that being able to get that Nair afterwards, or even the threat of a Nair, will make them panic. As you can see, if I do this and jump up, I can get these nares going, or I can chase or jump and then fast fall down, hopefully they dodge and then punish them when they fall down. This was just a relatively quick hammer guide to teach you some of the true combos you're gonna to need to know, and just some of the general tips you're gonna to need to know. Like grounded nair is one of the best moves, and I understand that a new player won't know how to do grounded nair too well. D light, D light Nair is also extremely strong as you can string it into more options. I think Hammer at a low level is played a lot differently to Hammer at a high level because people realize that you can stay on the ground more with this weapon in high ranks and that you can use these quick moves even on a heavy weapon like Hammer. I also want to get into uh, weapon thrown to end light. This is one thing which is amazing on this weapon. As you can see, the low amount of dodge frames I can get this to, and I'm pretty sure if you do it perfectly, you can get this to be true. But because N Light has such long active frames, it means that if they spot dodge, you still hit them with it. And if they do any other dodge, they can't punish you for it because it has low end lag. As you can see, there it was two dodge frames, but the overall after weapon throw being able to get almost a guaranteed hit makes this very strong. Be careful because they can read you, dodge the weapon throw, and then you have no weapon and you're a big disadvantage. I appreciate you guys for watching. This is more of a laid back guide. Normally mine are a lot more in depth, but I just thought because I already have a hammer guide, which is linked right now at the end of the video, that I didn't need to cover everything, but I wanted to cover the very important things for new and existing players. Remember, if you're not incorporating d -like Nair into your... Uh, play style it's very good because of where it puts you versus your opponent you can do almost every move after it you can almost follow up with any single move you want after it and that makes it very 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 versatile and as you can see i can get a lot of damage anyway i appreciate you watching thank you for the support recently on my channel i've been uh, getting quite a lot of subscribers if you would subscribe, that'd be good, and I'll see you in the next one.